watching WGAL 8. Now, coverage you can count on continues. From the home of Super Doppler 8, this is News 8 at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Piper. In tonight for Ann Shannon, thousands of South Florida residents have been ordered to evacuate ahead of Hurricane Wilma. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren joins us live from Fort Myers Beach with the latest. Kristen? Well, good evening here in Fort Myers. We are beginning to feel those first outer rain bands coming through and take a look. You can see the surf really picking up at this point as well. Forecasters very concerned that the storm surge with this storm could be about 13 feet high and the Wilma is predicted to come ashore now as a category two. Forecasters warn it could still strengthen and come ashore as a category three storm. Near Key West this afternoon came an ominous sign that Wilma was on the way. This water spout just one indication of what was to come. As the deadly hurricane bears down on the coast, increased concern brought out last minute sandbaggers and tractors. I think everybody just getting jittery and want to get it over with once and for all. Even the most diehard beachgoers kept one eye out to sea. It's just like anticipation is every day it's just like okay now it's just like just get it over with you know so we can just move on we're yeah. just like tired of it by now most have seen what wilma did as it battered mexico's resorts in cancun and cozumel as it now heads this way more than a hundred thousand floridians are under mandatory evacuation orders perhaps people are saying i'm gonna i'm gonna hunker down they shouldn't do that they should they should evacuate and there's very little time left to do so more than a thousand people headed to a shelter in Estero, Florida, hoping to ride out the storm in safety. But for some Key West residents, Wilma is just one more hurricane. So today the rush was to stock up for what could be several days without power. We've been through the last three, so we figured we could do it again. Hunker down or head out. Wilma has given people plenty of time to decide. This is hurricane country. We are prepared. I've been here 20 years. But time is now on Wilma's side. The storm has picked up speed and is barreling toward the Florida coast, ready or not. And even though it is still uncertain exactly where Hurricane Wilma will finally make its U.S. landfall, there are hurricane warnings and people on both coasts of Florida are expected to feel hurricane-like conditions. Conditions here expected to deteriorate very rapidly over the next few hours. Reporting live in Fort Myers Beach, Florida, I'm Kristen Dahlgren. Back to you. All right, thank you, Kristen. That was NBC's Kristen Dahlgren reporting live in Florida tonight. Now for the very latest on the storm, let's go to News 8's Dr. John Scala, who is live in the Storm Team Center. Hi, John. Good evening, Katie. We are watching with interest the progression of Hurricane Wilma, which has now accelerated northeast about 14 miles per hour. The latest hurricane information from the hurricane hunters suggests it may be intensifying just a bit as the eye contracts and the winds accelerate. Let's show you using the satellite imagery. We're looking at Hurricane Wilma right here and it is moving off to the northeast as I said at 14 it is about uh, 210 miles west southwest of Key West Florida this is the remnants now of tropical depression alpha and these two are going to merge off the eastern United States over the next 24 hours it is currently a strong category two but as I said there is a possibility it could strengthen just a little bit to a category three hurricane before it makes landfall we're probably within about 18 hours of this particular tropical system making landfall on the southwestern coast of Florida. And the concern here is there could be a storm surge of anywhere between 9 and 17 feet above mean high tide as this makes landfall probably tomorrow morning or midday tomorrow. Now in our forecast will be the remnants of this tropical system as it merges with a frontal system and a strong upper level system on Monday and Tuesday. And I'll have that in the forecast coming right up. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks, John. Well, we are following breaking news in Lancaster City tonight. Firefighters are battling an apartment fire. The fire started just before 5 o'clock in a building on the 200 block of Queen Street. And we'll continue to bring you more information as it becomes available. We now know the names of the two women killed in a car crash in Lancaster County last night. It happened at the intersection of South Shirk Road and Peters Road in Earl Township around 5 o'clock. 
New Holland police say 77-year-old Ethel Lehman and 75-year-old Edith Keener, both of Elizabethtown, died in that accident. 75-year-old Malin Lehman is in fair condition at Lancaster General Hospital tonight. The driver of the other vehicle was not injured, and the crash is still being investigated. A new crime report shows the number of crimes in Pennsylvania is slightly up. State Police Commissioner Jeffrey Miller says crime rose 0.3% in 2004. The number of aggravated assaults, murders, robberies, and thefts increased, while the number of rapes, arson, and stolen cars fell. Well, good news for consumers. Prices at the pump are dropping. According to the latest Lundberg survey, the average price for a gallon of gas has dropped more than 25 cents a gallon in the past two weeks. This is Gulf Coast refineries come back online following the devastation left by hurricanes Katrina and Rita. And at this Turkey Hill station on Route 72 in Lebanon today, a gallon of regular gas costs $2.29 a gallon. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded is $2.64. In Pennsylvania, the number is a little lower, now $2.53. Well, the holiday season is fast approaching, and the Lancaster Water Street Rescue Mission is asking for your help in feeding the needy. Today, the mission kicked off their annual food drive. The nonprofit organization is asking for donations of canned foods and other holiday food items. This year's drive is especially important because the mission says its warehouse is empty after sending supplies to hurricane victims. The need is growing, but the warehouse is empty. And so the kickoff for this event, which is today in the Lancaster Papers, is extremely important. The mission put paper grocery bags in today's Sunday news. They're asking volunteers to fill the bags and drop them off at any Turkey Hill Mini Mart or any bank of Lancaster County. A new reality show on NBC grants three wishes to a different town every week, and it could be coming to a city near you. News 8's Caitlin Smith was in Lebanon today at the Hack Campus for the Three Wishes casting call. We got here at 8.15. But the line started forming around 3 a.m., and by the time the doors opened at 11, it curved all the way around the corner. 350 people and counting, each one with a wish and in some cases, a sad story to go with it. My daughter, Alicia, she was killed in 99 by a reckless um, driver. Well, I changed my mind. I'm giving her my wish. A new reality show on NBC called Three Wishes could make Three Wishes Here become a reality. Standing in line is just step one. Step inside and you'll find even more wishes. Most are for family. A mother here for her twin boys. My wish is that they... Uh, can uh, be able to get a scholarship to go to college. A husband for his wife. My wish is to take her on a cruise. And some are all wishing for the same thing. Between 40 and 50 people. All asking for a special van that could whisk these wheelchair-bound people wherever they want to go. They are entitled to a life like everyone else, and they want to get out into the community. But this community isn't even a shoe-in for the show just yet. The producers are just considering Lebanon, and if chosen, picking three wishes won't be easy. He's a horseless cowboy. He's wishing for a horse. That's why each person has to fill out an application. They asked lots of questions. Sue Althouse wrote about building a new training facility for man's best friend. What the dog can do to help a person is beyond words. After you write your wish down, then you would come into this room. Now, for confidentiality reasons, we can't show you the actual taping, but a person would come in front of this camera and express whatever wish they have. I think I did all right. You know, I, 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 like I said, I gave it from the heart, and you know, what else more can I do but try? Don't you wish they could all come true? In Lebanon, Caitlin Smith, News 8. And Lebanon Mayor Bob Onsbach was also at the casting call today. He told us he's making a wish for the city, but he's not going to say what it is because he's worried then it won't come true. The show's producers usually pick the city in about six to eight weeks. Three Wishes is hosted by Amy Grant and airs Friday nights at 9 o'clock right here on WGAL. Well, coming up on News 8 at 6 o'clock after the break, a Nigerian passenger plane goes down shortly after taking off, killing everyone on board. The latest on the investigation coming up. Growing criticism over the Supreme Court nomination of Harriet Myers. I'm Jennifer Johnson. That story coming up from Washington. Out of gas? 
Yeah. Dodge Grand Caravan, the only minivan with stow and go. Another minivan first from Dodge. Daddy just had to get a motorcycle, didn't he? <laughs> Funny, huh? Now get the Dodge Advantage, including a $2,000 cash allowance on Grand Caravan. When remodeling or building a custom kitchen, bath, or library for that matter, our job at Quality Custom Cabinetry is to make you fall in love at first sight. We'll listen to your heart, stir your imagination. Then we'll craft the kind of vision that'll have you exclaiming, that's it, that's what I've always wanted. If you're ready to fall in love again every day, then open your door to quality custom cabinetry for romance that'll last a lifetime. There's nothing like being the first to see something, to drive something no one else has. Introducing Pontiac's new release party. Be one of the first to experience our new releases, the most new models in our history. The Pontiac G6 sedan delivers an EPA estimated 34 highway miles per gallon. And with Pontiac's total value promise, a G6 starts at 16,990. See your local Pontiac dealer. In news from Iraq tonight, the U.S. military now says four American contractors were killed in Iraq last month. Officials say the contractors were ambushed by insurgents when their convoy got lost near Baghdad. The military is denying reports that the four had been set on fire by a mob. Also in Iraq, five American soldiers were injured in a series of insurgent attacks today. Officials report at least 20 Iraqis were killed. In Kirkuk, a suicide bomber rammed his vehicle into a U.S. military convoy, killing two civilians and wounding 13 others. U.S. officials say one American is among the 117 passengers killed in a plane crash last night in Nigeria. The plane crashed in a wooded area shortly after it took off. Nigeria's president is asking the people of his country to pray for all those aboard the plane and their families. It's still not clear what caused the jetliner to crash. And in Cancun, Mexican officials say at least three people died during Hurricane Wilma's three-day wrath on the Yucatan Peninsula. Today, residents waded through flooded streets, trying to start flooded cars and clear debris from their homes. The Mexican military has begun moving in emergency supplies. The U.S. Embassy is also dispatching officials to shelters to help tourists prepare for their eventual evacuation. The debate over President Bush's Supreme Court nominee Harriet Myers is heating up. Some top Republicans are expressing new concerns about Myers and her views on affirmative action, while some Democrats say she does not have the votes to be confirmed. NBC's Jennifer Johnson is in Washington with the very latest. President Bush returning from Camp David Sunday afternoon amid growing criticism of his nomination of Harriet Myers to the Supreme Court. Conservatives are concerned about a new published report that Meyer supported racial and gender set-asides while leading the Texas State Bar. Conservative Republican Senator Sam Brownback, already skeptical of the nomination, wants answers. And these things just kind of keep dribbling out, and we need to have that full picture before we can vote as a committee, at least, and certainly as a Senate. A top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee says this nomination is in trouble. If you were to hold the vote today, she would not get a majority, either in the Judiciary Committee or on the floor. Both Democrats and Republicans continue to express frustration that they simply know nothing about Myers. I have no idea uh, what kind of a legal philosophy she has. I have no idea uh, how thorough her legal abilities are. She would not have been the one that, and she wasn't one that I had recommended to the White House for this, for this vacancy. Uh, but I do think she should be accorded the fairness of, of due process and the opportunity to make her case. Myers will begin to make her case before the Senate Judiciary Committee November 7th. In the meantime, key Republicans say the White House has no plans to withdraw her nomination. Again this week, Myers will hold meetings on Capitol Hill with members of the U.S. Senate. But after three weeks of doing that, many senators say they still have a lot more questions about Harriet Myers than answers. In Washington, Jennifer Johnson, News 8. Katie? News 8's Dr. John Scala will be back with his seven-day forecast. Weather is up next.
Introducing the GMC Total Value Promise. It's a promise to engineer more into every GMC. The most standard horsepower in its class. Unsurpassed cargo capacity. The best V8 highway fuel economy in its class. It's a promise to make shopping for a new GMC easy. The GMC Total Value Promise. Qualified lessees. Lease an 06 Envoy four-wheel drive SLE for around $289 a month. Call for residency restrictions and lease details. See your local GMC dealers. Presenting new hefty servant store interlocking plates. One plate can interlock to another to form a storage container to go from table to fridge to microwave and back. Plates are lids. Lids are plates. New hefty servant store. Are you trapped in your old car? Hello, let me out of here. Do you owe more than it's worth? Come on, stop. Gee, thanks. Who are you guys? Steel Suzuki. Suzuki. Let the negative equity specialists help get you out of your old car and into a new Suzuki. Aerial sedans, Latara V6s, Forensis, and more. One forty-nine a month. Zero down. Plus, get a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Make the smart move at Deal Suzuki, where you get more than a car, you get a deal. A deal, deal. It's just what you're looking for. Well, you can write this one in as a bonus today. Beautiful weather this afternoon. Northwesterly winds helping to clear out the sky. Just a few clouds around, and it was quite brisk. So if you got a chance to get out, you really enjoyed a great day. Now, you can see the downsloping winds here really help to erode the cloud cover over the mountains and the southeastern portion of the state of Pennsylvania. And that's why we had such a nice day today following yesterday's dreariness. But this is another storm system that we're going to have to watch very carefully. It's actually going to merge with Hurricane Wilma and a frontal system down here off the coast. And that uh, doesn't bode well for our weather from Monday in, into Tuesday. Right now it's 54 degrees at Harrisburg International Airport. But look at that dew point, 37 degrees. So we're going to drop rather quickly tonight as soon as we reach sunset. Still the winds are north-northwest at 6. We managed 58 degrees today after a morning low of 45. And here is our sunrise and sunset for today. Well, looking ahead, this is what we can expect then for the rest of this evening. Just a few of those clouds around. They're probably going to dissipate towards sunset. Breezy and cool with our temperatures dropping down into the lower 50s. Now, overnight tonight, we're going to see more in the way of clouds as that Ohio Valley storm system begins to move in. And by the morning hours, we should see generally overcast conditions for most of us and the temperatures down into the upper 30s or the lower 40s. And for tomorrow, I'm expecting some light rain in the morning, but rain developing during the afternoon. It will be a raw day and it will be tough to get to 50 degrees tomorrow. And that would be as these storm systems merge over uh, the eastern United States. Just minor rises expected right now over the major rivers across the region. Now let's take a look at what we can expect then. Uh, temperatures at the current time, 53 in Lancaster and 56 in Harrisburg. The large scale setup, this is the upper level system and associated surface low. This will merge off the east coast with Hurricane Wilma, which is down here to the south. And also just off the bottom of your screen, that's Tropical Depression Alpha. So all of these we're going to merge together and cause us some problems as we head towards Monday and into Tuesday. This is the local setup. You can see the erosion of the clouds across the Susquehanna Valley and the advancing storm system that we're going to watch very carefully. So here's your forecast. A raw couple of days as the storm systems moving across the eastern United States merge with Hurricane Wilma. And then we're going to see some wind come in here associated with the, uh, the remnants of that storm system as it moves off towards New England. And then we look at some very nice weather towards the end of the week and I think our first frost on Saturday morning. Oh, I don't want to hear the word frost. <laughs> <laughs> it's autumn. <laughs> but today was unbelievable. Spectacular, wasn't it? It was kind of a tease for what's to come. Well, huh? we're going to pay for the next couple of days. <laughs> okay, thank you so sure. much, John. Well, coming up next in sports, the Eagles welcomed one of the NFL's best to Philly this afternoon. We'll let you know if the birds could get it done against San Diego. Some finer points of the all-new Hyundai Sonata. It has more interior space than Camry or Accord, plus standard electronic stability control and six standard airbags, with quality backed by America's best warranty. All for $4,500 less than Accord. The all-new fuel-efficient Hyundai Sonata. Nicely equipped at $17,995. It's a Hyundai like you've never seen before. Lease the all-new Hyundai Sonata for just $179 a month at your Hyundai dealer. The death of a loved one can leave you feeling lost and uncertain. 
Hospice of Lancaster County's Pathway Center for Grief and Loss helps by offering support to adults and children. Compassionate counseling, support groups, and more help people realize they're not alone. And thanks to our community's generosity, this support is available whenever we need it. EHD is proud to partner with Hospice of Lancaster County. For more than 25 years, helping you and your family live life to its fullest. Sunday night is powerful television on NBC. First, the West Wing leak will face the consequences. Bring him here. Then on Criminal Intent, a murdered nun reveals a cover-up that could lead to a higher power. Somebody in that church is playing games. And crossing Jordan, two murders with one eerie clue. Phone number. Hello? Jordan? The West Wing, Law & Order, Criminal Intent, and Crossing Jordan. The power of Sunday on NBC. BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system reacts in milliseconds for maximum traction, no matter what the road throws at you. Beyond all-wheel drive is X-Drive, available on BMW 3 Series and 5 Series. Lisa 2006 BMW 325i for $407 a month until October 31st. Well, the Eagles played the role of whipping dog to the Cowboys two weeks ago in a 33-10 thumping in Dallas. But since the birds have had the bye week to regroup and with arguably the NFL's top player, Chargers running back LaDainian Tomlinson strolling into the lane, you can forget the offensive woes. It could be a long day for the Philly defense. Tomlinson came in with a streak of 18 straight games with the touchdown, but the Philly D held him to 33 total yards of offense in the second quarter. McNabb and Terrell Owens hook up for Owens 100th career touchdown reception. And apparently he's serving up whatever you need, but remember the celebration because San Diego's Keenan McCardell surely does. 10-0 Eagles in the third quarter when McCardell brings down a 19-yard touchdown, and they say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, and that's what, that's what that is. That's flattery, I guess, but you know what? There's nothing flattering about this. The Chargers take the lead off an 8-yard Drew Brees touchdown pass to Antonio Gates. The two teams with trade field goals and with the bolts lined up for a 40-yard field goal. Phillies Quentin Michael breaks through for the block, and Matt Ware scoops it up and goes 65 yards the other way for the score. Talk about a big play. The Eagles up by three, but the Chargers with still time on the clock. Breeze completes the pass to Raish Caldwell for a first down and then some, but Lito Shepard comes in and strips the ball away. San Diego and field goal range, and what a second half of football. The Eagles hold on to win 20-17. Let's check in on the Steelers and AFC North showdown against the Bengals. Ben Roethlisberger back under center for Pittsburgh. And in the opening quarter, he finds Heath Miller all alone for the game's first touchdown. And there was more where that came from. Cincinnati lauded for their offensive prowess thus far, but the Steelers showing them how it's done. Willie Parker scampers 38 yards along the far side to pay dirt. And later in the quarter, Roethlisberger back to work with a four-yard touchdown pass to Hines Ward. Pittsburgh sure could have used these two guys last week, but no matter, the Steelers take this one and convince fashion 27 13 your final for NFL action the Redskins hosting the hapless 49ers and what a season Mark Brunell is having the lefty QB finds Mike Sellers near side from two yards out Brunell with three touchdowns and over 250 yards passing and running back Clinton Portis enjoying himself today as well Portis gets it in from five yards away to give the skins a two touchdown advantage but hold the punch and pie the Niners Kevin Barlow isn't feeling the shutout. Barlow punches it in from 17 yards away to cut Washington's lead to seven, but Portis and the Skins rolling on all 12 cylinders. Clinton with over 100 yards rushing, three touchdowns, and two cartwheels, don't forget. D.C. rolls 52-17. Over to college ball where Penn State needed to clear away the cobwebs after last week's heartbreaking loss, last second loss to Michigan and poor Illinois turned out to be lambs for the slaughter. The Nittany Lions erupted for 56 points in the first two quarters. Penn State came away with a 63-10 victory over the Illini, keeping State in a tie with Wisconsin for the Big Ten lead. But it seems the Blue and White's offensive outburst didn't impress the poll makers much. The Lions are still on the outside looking in on the top 10 in the national rankings sitting 11th in the AP poll and 12th in the USA Today. Lost in the shuffle last night, Penn State's victory marked the 350th of Joe Paterno's storied coaching career. In 40 seasons, Joe Pa ranked second on the all-time wins list behind Florida State's Bobby Bowden. Give a comment on your 350th win. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Did I know it was my 350th win? No.
A man of very few words. We now turn to gasoline and gear shifting. And you know what, guys? There are just five races left in the chase for the next Dell Cup, and less than 100 points separates the top seven drivers. Jimmy Johnson and Tony Stewart are tied for the points lead with the Subway 500 on tap at the circuit's smallest track, Martinsville Speedway. Well, they say Virginia is for lovers, and so is NASCAR for that matter, but not much love today on the track. They say rubbing is racing as well. And with the tight quarters at the circuit's smallest track, we got a whole lot of that today. And all the caution flag was brought out 19 times, but that didn't stop a bit of history from being made this afternoon. The Rainbow Warrior Jeff Gordon in the 24 car fins off Tony Stewart and the rest of the pack to sweep the races in Martinsville and picks up his seventh career victory at the track. Here's how the next Dell Cup point standing shape up. Tony Stewart is your top dog, followed by Jimmy Johnson, just 15 points back. Ryan Newman, Greg Biffle, and Carl Edwards round out the top five. Next week, NASCAR racing heads to Atlanta Motor Speedway with the Bass Pro Shops, NBA 500. And Katie, you said it. What an Eagles win today. Hey, I know every football fan in our area should be happy exactly. today. Exactly. Who are you rooting for? Oh, Eagles all day. All, all day. right. All right. We thank you so much. You're welcome. And we'll be right back. Building the fastest car in its class doesn't mean leaving intelligence, beauty, and control behind it. Introducing the all new 306 horsepower IS from Lexus and Bobby Rivo Lexus in Mechanicsburg. You can't go anywhere else and find teaching faculty in the nursing department like you would at Millersville. The bachelor's degree serves as a bridge to advancing yourself to further degrees such as the master's programs. Ultimately, I'd like to get a PhD as well, and Millersville is just going to be a stepping stone to help me do that. Oh, I would choose Millersville anytime. And at any age, education is so important, and I never want to stop learning. Millersville University. Find your future here. This place shakes up all the rules about the way we diet. South Beach Diet Foods. Forget low carbs, forget low fat. Think the right carbs, the right fats, and lean protein. In a full line of chef-inspired entrees, cereal, cereal bars, even pizza. South Beach Diet Foods from Kraft. Life is better on the beach. Just, just what, what you're looking for. A deal, deal. That's what you're looking for. Deal Toyota announces Camrys for the price of a Corolla. Just $13,999. Toyotas cost $1,000 less at Deal Toyota. And Deal Toyota can sell Toyotas for less because we're the largest new car dealer in your county. Hurry to Deal Toyota. Camrys for the price of a Corolla. Just $13,999. Deal Toyota. That's just what you're looking for. And John has one more check for us of and Hurricane let's take a look Wilma. At the, right, let's look at the forecast track for Hurricane Wilma. And we'll put this into motion for you. This is the 5 o'clock advisory information, and you're going to see this track move towards the Florida coast, and landfall is expected tomorrow morning. That's 2 a.m., and there's 2 p.m. late in the afternoon, wow. and then moving right up the coast. So that's why it's going to merge with the storm system moving through us over the next 24 hours. Makes you feel guilty about the weather we're having here. Yeah, right. <laughs> it won't be like this tomorrow. What's Guaranteed. going to be tomorrow? Uh, overcast and some rain. Okay. And well, enjoy raw. it while it lasts. Yes, we right. know that well. Well, that does it for us. For everyone here, we hope you have a great night. We'll see you back here at 11.